New at 6, Port Washington's iconic lighthouse is up for sale. But who will own it isn't clear after an out-of-state group says it wants it. Todd Hicks is live with the story. Todd. That group is from across the lake in the state of Michigan, but the city says it plans on fighting to keep its lighthouse and its symbol. One look around Port Washington and you can clearly spot the city's symbol. This lighthouse is the identity of Port Washington. This is the icon linked to the city where Nancy Conway Hackey was born and raised. Now the Coast Guard is selling it. The city should buy it probably through grants and so forth to remain in our hands. Mayor Tom Malata agrees. And really what it represents as part of our proud maritime past. But who will take the keys isn't certain after an unexpected bid by an out-of-state group. And we are intent on preserving the, the historical aspects of the site. That's Chris Bowden, the president of the Geek Group, a national science organization. They want to transform the 126-year-old building into a research laboratory. We don't plan on doing anything to the outside of the lighthouse that would change its appearance in any way. Bowden tells me if the group is successful with its bid, it plans on keeping the lighthouse open to the public. He says they may even open offices here. The mayor says federal officials will get the final say of who's the winning bidder. At the end of the day, whoever in fact would have the high score, if you will, whether it would be us or the geek group, uh, would ultimately be granted the opportunity to take conveyance. Conway Hockey just hopes the city's identity doesn't slip away. I I think once it's gone, it is gone. And you can see just how popular that lighthouse is out here in Port Washington. Now, the mayor tells me that final decision should be made by November. We're live in Port Washington tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. It is a beautiful sight. Thank you very much. Well,